follow the money. We hear it all the time, but it can actually lead to some interesting insights, and that's no different in cybersecurity. In fact, money is one of the strongest motivations for a lot of cyber criminals and other kinds of threat actors, including some nation states, to perform different cyber attacks. Whether it is stealing information and selling it to other cyber criminals, or it is holding access to computers and networks for a ransom, money plays a pivotal role in how cyber attacks work. And as you can imagine, all of this becomes acute during a recession. Whether the recession is a true technical recession, or it's really just fears of a recession, or any other kind of an economic decline, money becomes more of a problem, and fear becomes heightened. This has problematic effects both on attackers and defenders, and we're going to talk about both. It also has a problematic effect on the like button, which is why you should hit it right now to help alleviate that problem. Also comment, bad recession, bad, because it's bad. Now we're going to break this problem into two halves. We're going to talk about the offensive side and how a recession can impact different threat actors and their behavior. But we're also going to talk about the defense and how different organizations and companies are impacted by a recession and how that trickles down to their security staff and their entire security picture and threat picture overall. In fact, we're going to lead by talking about defense over offense because that will actually help explain why offense is doing a lot of what they're doing. Now let's zoom out and approach this from a business vantage point. At this angle, cybersecurity is but a small piece of this giant puzzle. The bigger the size of the company, then the more that they can invest into their cybersecurity, whether that's in creating more relationships with third parties that can provide better cybersecurity, or it's in building out an internal cybersecurity staff. The bigger the organization is, and the more mature the organization is in their security, then the bigger their staff might be and the more sophisticated it will be. However, the smaller the organization and the less money they may have at their disposal. A lot of small to medium sized businesses can't afford to have security staff unless they're an IT or a security company, which really isn't that many whenever you look at the overall pool of small and medium sized businesses. Oftentimes they have to outsource this requirement to other third parties. Now the problem with bigger businesses is that although they're able to build out a cybersecurity staff, they often, I mean, are bigger and they have integrations with third parties and that can lead to random gaps in security that they may not know about. So although they are very sophisticated, there are still gaps in security. Whereas with a smaller business, while there might be glaring problems and a lot of simple fixes that can be made, once those simple fixes are made and security is taken seriously and considered in the decision making, it can actually be harder to hack a smaller business because they have less integrations with third parties and everybody is on their P's and Q's. That is all a struggle on a good day with a good economic climate. However, whenever a recession hits, all of this becomes a bit worse. The organizations that take security seriously won't touch their security staff, especially whenever it comes to cuts. However, a lot of organizations unfortunately will impact their cybersecurity teams whenever it comes to downsizing, either due to fear or due to a legit retraction in profitability. This is made worse whenever you remember that a lot of security staffs are understaffed as it is. So peeling back and creating a hiring freeze or even downsizing the size of the security team, that can be a real problem. This means that the remaining staff has to do more with less. They have to cover more ground individually with less team members to help pick up the slack. That can lead to burnout and a number of other issues. And you're probably seeing where this is going. On a good day, security is already really hard. And on a bad day, it's a lot worse. Now, don't be discouraged if you're currently looking for a job in cybersecurity and it is a recession because there are places that are hiring. Again, remember, a lot of bigger companies and a lot of companies that are more mature in their cybersecurity won't touch their security staff. They may not even put a hiring freeze. So there are still plenty of opportunities out there that you can find. It's just a matter of enumeration. That said, it does depend on what organizations you're looking into. For instance, some organizations won't even be impacted by a recession. Organizations that have maintained profitability or even perform better might actually continue to grow over the course of a recession. Or the government entity which has to perform rain or shine will not see any kind of a reduction in staff. There are organizations out there, even some private companies out there, that will be just fine. It's you know just a matter of finding them. If you're a small business leader and you're trying to navigate what the cybersecurity environment is like in a recession, then it might be required of you to be even more innovative and efficient with your security decision making. Why? Well, let's talk about the offense. We've already talked about how a lot of cyber threat groups, including 
including cyber criminals and even certain nation states like North Korea are motivated primarily by money. This motivation becomes more heightened over the course of a recession because they may be aware of certain companies or other organizations that might face the downsizing that we've already talked about. Those gaps in security that they may have already enumerated but haven't really pulled the trigger on might look pretty juicy now. This situation might lead to an uptick in cyber attacks. This is a pretty bad situation. That said, it's not completely dire. Like I said already, government and law enforcement will continue to operate without really downsizing through a recession or worse, rain or shine, because the mission has to continue. So that means that cyber threat groups are no safer in a recession than they are on a good day. They might be taking targets of opportunity or might be trying to take advantage of the climate and the reduction in security staffs within certain organizations, but they're no more likely to get away with it than they were before. In fact, the more activity that they produce, the more likely they are to get caught. And again, mature organizations and even the government will not touch their security staff whatsoever. They will remain untouched through a recession. And for small businesses, it only takes just a few basic decisions and changes to be able to make those glaring cybersecurity holes go away. And then they actually become relatively strong. And as an individual, it is just as important now as ever for you to take your own cybersecurity seriously. That is the case in normal economic conditions, and that is especially the case during a recession or worse. There are plenty of excellent security resources out there for you to use, including super affordable ones like NordPass, which is a great password manager that makes logging in a lot easier, believe it or not, and more secure. You can get NordPass using the affiliate link down below. And if you wanna learn more about password managers, then check out this video. And again, if you're a small business leader, then I highly recommend implementing a password manager for your organization. Also, consider checking out the playlist below for basic security tips. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, thrive. I'll see you all next time. Bye.